In this video, we're overclocking the AMD Radeon graphics integrated in the Ryzen 9 9900X CPU, all the way up to 2.8 GHz using the Asus ROG Crosshair X870E Hero motherboard. I'll speedrun you through the BIOS and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock the integrated graphics, have a look at the longer Scatterventure video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo 1. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5-8000 and timings. Expo 1 will load only the primary timings and have the motherboard tune the secondary timings. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 toolkit to increase the power, current, and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 boosting algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive 2 enabled. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters PPT, TDC, and EDC according to the motherboard other rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. Leave the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Set GPU boost to manual. This allows us to set a maximum frequency for the integrated graphics and also forces the IGP to run at that frequency. Set GFX clock frequency to 2800 MHz. This will effectively overclock the integrated graphics to 2.8 GHz and operate at the maximum allowed graphics voltage of 1.25 volt. Note that the integrated graphics share the VDDCR voltage rail with the CPU cores. The voltage rail will be set by the highest requested voltage among its dependencies, which in a heavy load scenario with all CPU cores and integrated graphics active will be the integrated graphics. This may put significantly higher stress on the CPU cores and may cause additional frequency throttling. We recorded an increase of 100 millivolt and a reduction of over one gigahertz in CPU frequency in such a scenario. Switch to the advanced menu. Enter the NB configuration submenu. Set UMA frame buffer size to 16G. That dedicates half of the available 32 gigabyte system memory exclusively to the integrated graphics, with the remaining half being split equally to exclusively the CPU and shared among CPU and GPU. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun our benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our results are better. When running the OCCT 3D Adaptive and VRAM combined stress test, the average GPU effective clock is 2812 MHz with 1.286 volts. The average GPU temperature is 53.4 degrees Celsius. The average GPU core power is 41.4 watts. When running the OCCT CPU AVX2 and 3D Adaptive combined stress test, the average CPU effective clock is 3,836 MHz and the average GPU effective clock is 2,772 MHz with 1.206 volts. The average CPU temperature is 95 degrees Celsius and the average GPU temperature is 57.7 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 262.3 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching the Patreon and the YouTube members for their support and see you next time.